Hello. Trying something a bit different here. Recording beforehand and then uploading to YouTube. So, let's get back. Oh, let's delete that. It's doing a little challenge. Let's get back to the bigger challenge, the game jam that I was working on. I had started typing up some code for uh, well for uh, using a controller, that one right here, trusty Xbox controller. Um, makes use of the code that I already have here. I went over this and I was like, do I want to change it? I changed it a little bit, changed th these uh, the rounding of the intensity of the axes. Really, I don't need to round it, but I feel like it. Um, I might remove that if I uh, want to speed things up, but it's it's probably fine. Let's get rid of the mirrors here. So, where was I? Yes, I. If there is a controller present, then I call this function, which gets the intensity of the sticks, how much the analog sticks are being pressed stores it, then it takes this table here, uh, this table here, this one, and just creates an alias for it basically. Uh, where is the code? Oh, it was right here. Okay. Just to make the references to that table uh, shorter text wise. But apparently, it also speeds things up because of some magic happening behind the scenes with Lua and Lua's JIT. That's a, a just in time compiler. Because Lua is an interpreted language, but you can have it be sort of compiled as you go which is faster if you do it right. Um, you see this with Java, I think. JavaScript, I think. There's, uh, I'm fairly certain there's, there's uh, a JIT for Python. So yes, I get the uh, stick position okay, let's change that to work okay. okay vertical so slow Horizontal threshold. This is all mixed up between horizontal and vertical. Okay, so get the pos stick position of the left, the left stick moving vertically. <laughs> and compare that to a slow vertical threshold. Oh, I'm going to redo this. I redid, I think I redid some other code to use um, to sort of replace an element with, yeah, I did, to replace an element of a table with an element that was uh, 
you know, element to be removed. Yeah, these here. These are uh, the enemy projectiles. Player projectiles. Okay, the live. Player projectiles and anime projectile. Yeah, it. Uh, let's see. Over here, hitting an enemy. Yeah. Player projectiles hitting an enemy. It first swaps the one that was hit with the, which is this one, with the last one on the list, which is this one. The pound. This is pound enemies. Dot basic. Dot location. So the, the so you if you index a table, enemies. Dot basic. Dot locations. With the with pound sign table name, you will get the last element in the table because pound sign table name is the size of the table. So you take the last element in the table, put it in whichever one this projectile hit. So you copy that over. So now you have two copies, then you set the end of the table, the last element that was just copied, to nil. So now it's nothing. And then clear up the player projectile by moving it off the screen. But I can fix that now without, and have there not be any holes in the table, any, any things where it goes one two blank space three or one two blank space four. Well that's kind of the problem is is it is it the next one three or four? How, where did how does the blank space work? There's because you can you make one, two, three, and four and you get rid of three. Then you'll have one, two, blank space and another one. And trying to iterate over that, loop over that, go over those in order can be a problem. That's why I'm just moving, right now I'm just moving player projectiles off the screen when they're not in use. And then moving them on the screen and across the screen when they're in use. But with this method that I just described, I don't need to do it that way. But first, I'm going to work on controller controls, gamepad controls. Um, let's see. Where was I? Match the player. Oh yeah, the um, I left the blank space there because I was going to possibly make an enemy despawn if it hits the player. I think I'm not going to do that. Analog sticks. Equal speed equals player dot low speed. Yeah, I'm just And move that to its own line if left horizontal. Already an end there. Where dot horizontal 
speed false player dot low speed. Oh yeah, I also rearranged the speed things here a bit. So instead of just setting, just having the the speeds listed, there's also I added a player dot speed, and I was like, well, no, I wanted them to be able to move different speeds in different directions. So it's it's um what do you call it? So there's horizontal and vertical speed. All right, and this I can just do an else if check for medium speed. over again for horizontal is it slow me low medium high Slow, medium, and fast vertical threshold. Fast. Air dot high speed. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where am I moving the player? Let's see. Hmm. Setting a local table there. Yeah, I'll just move, make that local to the main function, the update function.
Um, let's do this first. Get controls being pressed right now. Wait, doesn't that need a return variable? Something to return to? No, it doesn't. Okay, inbox.instantpress. Sets it, sets stuff in controls that quick detect. Uh, let's see. Just looking for where it does. Let's see. Okay, so if let's do else where dot vertical speed equals zero. Else where dot vertical speed equals zero. I do believe, yeah, that means you won't be able to move with the uh, keyboard or other means if there's a controller plugged in, so I don't know. No, 
I'll set I'll set stuff in quick detect. So controls dot quick detect dot up down left and right. Controls dot quick detect dot up equals true. That's how I'm doing it, right? It's setting them as what or equals yeah, let's see. Let's say equals negative one. Or no, left left is a beautiful threshold. If sticks that positions that left vertical greater than so vertical threshold. Um yeah, because that's a positive. if up is positive or down is positive. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Left X. Greater than Well, I can just set it, and if it's backwards, it's, I'll know it's backwards, and I can easily fix it. If it's greater than so threshold, then controls dot quick detect. Dot up equals negative one as if it's less than negative vertical threshold. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Then controls that Quick detect that down equals negative one. I'll change the verticals to horizontal.
All right. Now player movement. Vertical speed. Vertical speed. Horizontal speed. Horizontal speed. Now let's see what breaks. <sighs> Firstly, let's see. If it doesn't immediately crash, let's see if we can still move with the keyboard. Mmm, vertical speed. Vertical speed had an issue. And I'll be right back. I wonder if I can... No, I can't pause. Was dealing with food. So let's run that again and see where the crash was. They will move horizontally just fine. Three sixty three. Wait, what? Vertical speed. Player dot vertical speed. Okay. Probably didn't change something. Player dot speed. Huh. Okay, so why is horizontal speed working, but vertical speed isn't? Don't just don't know. Okay, so when I get am I handling speed in here? That doesn't seem right.
Yeah, I'm not doing anything with speed in there. Oh, I forgot to change this to left and right. Is the controller doing something? I don't think so. The sticks are pretty neutral. What could be doing it? Let's try just unplugging the controller, seeing what it does. Horizontal, vertical. Seven, vertical speed and nil value. It's so weird. If I press down instead. Wait. Sixty-seven. That's the same. Wait a minute. That's 
no one for down. Okay, so what if I press up? Three sixty-five. Okay. I mean, I don't see where I'm setting the speed based on the um, controls at all. Did I? Am I still doing? I must still be doing player dot speed, right? What's going on? How how is horizontal speed being set but not vertical speed? It makes no sense. Cause I I searched for horizontal speed six matches starts out at nil there's the controller code there's the code for moving wait player dot vertical speed is undefined oh cuz it's not the controls, it's the speed, and it's the, it's the speed itself. Why is it undefined? Why is it not? Okay, okay, at some point I'm setting... Wait a minute. Controller. Setting horizontal speed. But I'm only setting it to low, medium, or high speed in this code, in this controller code here. Right? Horizontal speed is nil. This this is too weird. Yeah? Okay, now it's erroring out after I remove that code. I don't get it. There's no controller plugged in. How... Why was it running that code at all? If... if Controls.controller... Wait a minute. I have a dummy structure for controllers. Ah, can't right click and reopen. Returns nil for is gamepad down and get gamepad access returns zero. I think Wait, if it's less than, why is, why if it's less than? It should be if it's greater than. Greater than or equal to. What am I doing? And now it should error out because there's the speed is not being set. Yeah, okay, cool. So now I need to set on quick detect I need to set the speed for the for the keyboard controls if I want to still use keyboard controls. I'm tempted to just 
just do friggin' um, limit it to just controller and mouse. But I'm I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put keyboard controls back in for right now. Uh, so. If local quick detect equals controls dot quick detect. Yep. Quick detect dot up. Then Player dot vertical speed equals player dot medium speed. I'll say put tech dot down. Okay. Really, I can do if or hopefully, it didn't go through. Quick. Detect that left or quick detect that right and player dot horizontal speed equals player dot medium speed. That's probably not going to print anything because it's probably not running. Okay, vertical is working, but horizontal isn't working. I didn't even. Why is it not working? Horizontal speed.
right. Horizontal ramp. It's not running. Why is it not running? Well, actually, it should be. Oh, because it's the first one is tripping for some reason, and then it's not going following through to the. No, it shouldn't do that. But these should be these should be separate anyway, because horizontal and vertical are independent. If that fixes it, I'm going to be upset. Because, like, it shouldn't be. I didn't think it was supposed to short circuit in that particular kind of way. But whatever. Let's try pressing directions on the controller. I should rig up something to, unpa to pause and unpause, actually. Yeah, I'm going to need to rig up those. It's not doing anything. That's great. Oh, I wonder why. Should have known from the light being off, but I was like, eh, yeah, it's you know, it's a cheapo controller. The light's not on. Alright, let's see. I can pause and unpause. I can quit with X. Yep, vertical is upside down. Although I'm getting I'm getting used to it remarkably fast because probably because I play with inverted vertical controls on FPSs. All right, so let's reverse that. Uh, did you? Where are you? Down and up. The speed doesn't seem to really vary. Wait, why did that not, why did the enemy not die? That one died. All right, so next thing I want to do is reset the timer for a new um a new uh projectile so that once a projectile hits an enemy or an enemy projectile the timer is reset immediately. But I think what I'm going to do right now is go have go have dinner. I'm going to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy how this turns out. Hope this turns out well. See you next time.